Kota kita is basically a non-profit organization. We are based in uh, Indonesian city called Surakarta with an expertise in urban planning and citizen participation in the designs of uh, development of uh, our cities. Uh, we envision a city for all where citizens are at the heart of decision making. So we, we basically, most of our work, we bridge the dialogue between the government and their constituencies by facilitating citizen participation and collaboration, influencing urban policies, encouraging open access to information, and providing civic education to empower urban citizens. Uh, our project currently focus on the three sector. We call it as urban governance, urban inclusivity, and urban resilience. Uh, so so to, to, to explain more, urban governance covers most of the project related to kind of, uh, you know, uh, promoting kind of uh, participatory governance in, in the city. Let's say for example, we are now working a lot on promoting like a participatory design with a uh, low income community to kind of uh, promote inclusive public space and on the on the inclusivity sector we work more on promoting kind of inclusive city working with a group of a person with disability and also with other marginalized other marginalized uh, group such as informal informal uh, sectors like uh, informal traders and then uh, also uh, informal economy uh, like informal kampung and in the in the resilience this 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 where, where uh, kota kita work pretty much with uh, IED is on the urban resilience where we work mostly on promoting climate resilience in in Indonesian cities we work to promote uh, inclusive kind of uh, urban mobility where we are working together with a range of uh, uh, say for example, low-income community in Banjarmasin and also disabled a person with disability to think about what kind of intervention we can we can do. So, for example, now we are working with person with disability association uh, to design three cycle, what we call it, three wheeler motorcycles that can be used by person with disability, and also design a safety school zone that really accessible for children with disability as well. So we, we design a road, a street kind of uh, design where it's, it's, uh, it's, it's make it possible for person with disability to access the school easily and uh, in, in a safe manner. We have uh, urban planner, we have also urban designer, uh, architect, and as well as community organizer, and then also uh, like like I myself, uh, basically I grew as a as a community organizer and urban activist, but I pretty much kind of enjoy in delivering like a community facilitation. So that that's my expertise. But then the other expert would be like mostly on the design and urban design. So it's pretty good at facilitating process of a participatory design, and some of them are planners and communication expert. And we have also like sort of social kind of you know researcher some social research at, at, at the community level as well we work together to understand uh, social security social protection policies at the same time we also have to understand some very kind of current issues around climate change and vulnerability across indonesia and also working with other kind of expert around you know kind of understanding around you know law uh, legal aspect and national policy stuff like that